Hey everybody, welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. Have you ever had this problem? Overcarbonated keg. Well, I'm Dennis Fields, and we're gonna go through how to fix this if you've ever overcarbonated a keg, and all you're getting is a foam bomb when you try to pour a beer. Stay tuned. Well, we have an overcarbed keg. Now what? Well, let me show you a couple ways you can fix it. First, you can disconnect the gas entirely, and you can come back every couple of hours and bleed the top of your keg. And then when you do that, it will kind of release the pressure, the pressure will build back up, you come back a little bit later, you release a little bit more, and that helps if the keg is not overcarbonated too much. But maybe it's a lot, like this one here. This one was almost all foam when I poured it, and therefore, we're gonna need to try a different method. Or maybe you have friends or somebody coming over that night, and you realize we don't have time to sit there and bleed this all day long. Well, there's a quicker way to do it. What you're gonna need to do is swap your beer intake with your gas line. So you're gonna take off of the connections, and you're gonna swap them out, essentially. And then we're gonna hook that up to the keg and push CO2 through the longer dip tube through the bottom and out through the top and bleed the keg as we're doing it. So I'm gonna show you a demonstration. This is gonna help pull CO2 out of the beer. All right, so for this demonstration, I just unhooked both my gas and my serving lines. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap my gas line out for a beer serving connection. And the reason that's important is because these are a little bit different, right? Well, first I'm gonna shut the manifold off so I don't leak CO2 everywhere. First, we should have done that first, right? So now we're gonna disconnect this and connect a beer, a black connection, which is your beer serving line on here. But we're gonna hook it up to the serving side, even though it's gas. We're gonna push this on the outside And then we're going to bleed the excess out of the keg first. And then I'm gonna turn on the gas here. And you're gonna hear it bubble. And when you do, you're going to bleed this out at the same time. You're gonna bleed out, and you're, you might get some foam coming out. And that's okay. You might wanna put some towels down or something underneath here. But what this is gonna do, is it's gonna force CO2 up through the beer and bring some of that CO2 along with it. You don't wanna leave that manifold on too long, so keep shutting off your gas. Or if you have it, just a one shut off at your regulator, that's fine too. But, but keep bleeding this out until it's empty again. And then you're gonna do this a couple of times so we can get the pressure out of the beer. it doesn't help when the keg's really, really full like this. So when it's really, really full, you're gonna get a lot of foam when that, that comes up. I probably should have done a little bit shorter time uh, for the CO2 from my manifold, and then it would have not foamed quite as much, but that's okay. If it does, like I said, we just got a little beer to clean up off the floor, put a towel underneath it. To make this easier, I just put this inside of a bucket so it can catch all of the beer. That way, if it drips anymore, we catch it in there and we don't have to clean up the floor. Again, we could just let this thing foam out for a little bit. There's all the pressure and we shut it off. Again, it's bringing that CO2 up out of the beer and uh, letting it out the top. This one is very overcarbed, so it's gonna take a couple of times doing this. And then when we are we're happy with it, we can hook it back up and test it again. If it's not foaming up, we can unhook it, do this over again until we get a nice clean pour. So we'll do this a couple of times and we'll show you what the result looks like. All right, we've done that four or five times. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this glass of clean water and I'm just gonna pour it over the top to help get all that foam from the beer and help wash off the keg a little bit. And then we just need to wipe this thing down. We're gonna hook it back up and we're gonna try a beer pour, see if that's uh, come out a lot better. All right, moment of truth. And I can already tell, look at how much better that pour is looking than before we blood the keg.
All right, we went from a foamy mess to a perfect pour in about 15 minutes tops. So with that, leave any questions or comments in the video description. Happy to help out. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every one of you guys. Happy brewing and cheers.